friends, welcome back to my habitat. Today we're going to be planting a bunch of beautiful things. The heat is finally here. We're actually entering the heat wave. So I think what better time than today to put everything in the ground, give it a good water in, and watch it blossom with the warm weather. Let's get into it. First plant are delphiniums. I have a bunch of really tiny ones here. They did have some bigger leaves, but during the hardening off process, some of them died off. But that's fine. I'm going to be simply putting them and dotting them around in this area right beside me. I have a lot of annuals here, and I don't think these are going to become big enough to produce a flower this year. So these are going to grow up throughout this year. We have some other flowers that will probably dominate this area. But I'm, next year, I'm not going to plant anything here. It's just going to be the delphiniums. So I have about six plants here, and I'm just going to throw them in. Alliums are in full swing. That's what I'm in front of right now. After these die back, delphiniums kind of take over this area. I have one right here that's really beautiful and bushy. Sadly, I had one die off from moving it last year. And I currently have some black-eyed Susans trying to grow up here. Run it out. There we go. Yeah. Just gonna stick them in a pot and give them some water. Back to the reason why I'm in this spot. Let's plant more delphiniums. Love lies bleeding amaranth going underneath this structure. My kind of thought, well, Daniel's thought, this was his um, creation is to plant the love lies bleeding under it and then by the time they're coming up with their beautiful flowers they'll kind of spouting out like a fountain probably only going to plant three just because of you know room do another one over here a little bit more rooted you know maybe two is good Yeah, I think two is enough actually. I think that's gonna be plenty there. And we have a little visitor. So the things that are going right here, we have one root of a dahlia. This is a classic red variety that is very beautiful. And on either side of it, I'm going to be putting a snow white salvia, which smells amazing and right in the middle of these hyacinths that are going to be dying back they're already starting to yellow at the tips this area is going to become free for another plant like this gm i grew this from seed a cute little bushy plant probably won't flower this year it does produce red flowers that come up above the leaf canopy and then in the front here i don't want anything too too high i do have something really really exciting my marigold seeds that i did not know what they looked like produced a beautiful flower very red very beautiful now that I know what they look like I remember where I grabbed the seeds from I think it was off somebody's front lawn so thank you to that person for giving me your seeds and then behind those or to the side of them I'm going to be planting Celosia these are pink ruby parfait they do come up a little bit taller with really nice spiked flowers overheated there but let me show you where some things ended up we planted the rest of the celosia so let's show you so starting here we have a few plants of celosia here and then on the other side of these tulips right here and of course it goes all the way up here till the end of the marigolds there so my hope with that is that I'm going to get kind of a constant stream of the same color of flower kind of dabbled in that kind of j shape right there I want to thank you guys for watching today. I'm going to leave you guys with me soaking this garden because the plants desperately need it. The next few days are going to be very hot. Till next time, stay gardening.